the power tells how many times the base should appear in the product. Product means multiplication. So here we have a power which is four. We call it the fourth power. And below that we have the three in the product four times because that's what the power indicates. So we have three times three times three times three. So that's what the power does. It tells you how many times to have the base in the product. That's the function of the power. So this is another example. This time we're looking at the problem or the value from the perspective of the base. The base is the number that is repeated in the product. Now here our base is five. And we will not be writing 5 times 2, we will be writing 5 times 5, so that we have 5 repeated in the product twice. There's a difference between having 2 times 5 as opposed to having 5 in the product 2 times. You can actually count the number of times you have the 5 in the product, which is 1, 2. Previously in the notes, you got the explanation that the base as well as the power can be any number. Hence, this information here is giving you examples of what the values can look like when the base or the power is a different type of number. So for the first one, you just say the base and you say the power. And there are three different ways that you can name the first one. The second one, the base, is a fraction. You see the base, which is the fraction. Then you see the power. The third one, the base is a negative number. You see the base. Then you see the power. The fourth one, the base is a positive whole number. You just see the base and say the power and there are different ways that you can say them. So instead of saying this, that, or that, we call them by their specific name. For example, there are four boys in a room and somebody says, you boy, come here. All of them are going to wonder which of them the instruction is directed at. So just for things to be specific, we call things by their specific names. That is what this information is doing. It is giving you their specific names. And just the same way we have different names, pet names, middle name, first names, these have more than one name. This information is now about the answer when the power is zero. So whatever the base is, whether it's a whole number, it's a negative number, it's a fraction with a vulgar fraction, which is 5, 4, or a decimal fraction, which is 1.82, whatever the base is, as long as the power is 0, the answer will be 1. Now there's a way to demonstrate that, which will not be done in this lesson. So for now, you will remember that wherever you get a problem, whenever you get a problem, whatever the base is, as long as the power is zero, the answer for that value is one. Here we have some worked examples. The first example is five squared. And the power is 2, so we'll have 5 2 times in the product, which is 5 times 5. And no, 5 times 5 is not 10, it is 25. And be sure to work downward. For the second one, the power is 1. It's the first power, so therefore we have the base 1 time. 
which we have six. And it is not six times one, it is just the six appearing once. For the third example, the base is 1.2 and the power is three, which is 1.2 cubed or 1.2 to the third power. And we have 1.2 appearing three times in the product, which is 1.2 times 1.2 times 1.2. And we will not be multiplying 1.2 by 3, but we'll be multiplying 1.2 by itself. And then the answer will be multiplied by the next 1.2, which is what is illustrated here.